Good morning, Toastmasters. This morning, like you said, I'm here to break the news to all of you that you have been lied to when it comes to your nutrition. What I mean is the whole notion of the 100 calorie snack pack, so the low fat, low calorie options for food. Whenever we take a food and we modify it over and over and over again, so it's just a shred of its former self, that is a problem. But yet that is what we as society today call healthy. Nothing frustrates me more as a trainer is to see someone work so hard to reach their fitness goals only to be duped by false advertising. Exhibit A. How many of you <laughs> are familiar with this product? When I was first learning how to count calories and read labels, I found this amazing product. I can't believe it's not butter spray. Zero calorie butter spray. It says right here on the, on the bottle, I can have as much of this as I want to and face no consequences at all as I would with butter. Well, we, we fail to read the fine print these days. We look closer at the label. One spray is a serving. There are 1,180 servings in this little bottle. <laughs> so why do they do that? One spray is 0.9 calories. So they are allowed to call that zero calories. There's actually over 1,000 calories in this bottle. <laughs> Most people don't know that. This is responsible for thousands and thousands of uncalculated calories for poor people trying to reach their fitness goal every year. Let's put this over here in evidence column. <laughs> what else do I got here? These look delicious to me. I would like to have one of these right now. Double food cakes, fat free. Fat free, these have to be healthy, right? Healthy. Well, to me, healthy means if I eat it, it makes me better. So let's take a look, a little closer look at these healthy cookies. Look at the ingredients. First word, sugar. Not off to a very good start. We'll see where this goes from here. <laughs> Unbleached enriched flour, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine monohydrate, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B2, folic acid, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, cocoa, skim milk, gelatin, glycerin, baking soda, and or sodium acid pyrophosphate, and or, it's one of the two, they don't know which one, they, they threw it all in there. Uh, well, there's a lot on here. That's about a quarter of the way down. I'm starting to lose my breath. Some of these words I can't even pronounce. Some of them should be more in a spelling bee than on the back of a product I'm about to consume. And we learned from the butter spray. Let's look at the serving size. One cookie. I'm so sure I would just eat one of these cookies. <laughs> so here's another tip. If it takes longer to read the ingredient list than it does to eat the product, don't eat it. <laughs> These just crack me up. Who knew? Who knew nutritious could be so delicious? <laughs> These love the taste, guaranteed. Guaranteed or your money back, you'll love the taste. This is supposed to be passed off as a low sugar product that tastes just as good as the original one. Okay, well, normally if it sounds too good to be true, it is. So let's look at the ingredients. There's a few words that pop out to me. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup, fructose, diglycerides, and monodiglycerides, polydextrose, sucrose. Let's see, all these are different ways of describing sugar. It's all sugar. There are many different types of sugar, and so when you put all the different types of sugar on here, it allows you to not make sugar the number one ingredient and put it down lower. <laughs> How scandalous is that? How are they getting away with this? Who even came up with that idea? I bet it was the butter spray people. <laughs> <laughs> 100 calorie packets. This is something I get all the time. 100 calories here, 100 calories here. Calories in versus calories out, right? I'm, I, I'm taking in less than I'm burning for sure. Why am I not losing weight? Well, calories in versus calories out, for a general standpoint, big picture, is perfect. I mean, you have to, to burn stored body fat, you have to burn more calories than you take in. Fact, you have to, there's no way around that. But to say that a calorie is a calorie is a calorie, that's kind of like saying, if I build a 500 pound house of tissues and a 500 pound house of bricks, they would both withstand the same amount of weight. We, both, we all know that's not true. Obviously the integrity of both houses are different. Our body acts the same for what we put in our body and what we eat. So it's just as important as to count calories, it's important to count quality. So if this isn't quality, this isn't really healthy, what can we eat? I'm glad you asked. I've got some more stuff. Raw almonds. We all know almonds are healthy, right? Let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients. Almonds. That's it. <laughs> That's the only thing that's written. Almonds. <laughs> Next one. Eggs. These 
these are a great source of protein. Everyone knows these are a healthy food. Let's look at the ingredient list. I can't find one. That's because this is the ingredient. A, that's the ingredient. Let's look again. Sweet potato. Let's look at the ingredient. I can't find one. That's because it's a sweet potato. This is it. We haven't messed with this. We haven't changed it any. These foods we haven't messed with at all. So I think you guys get the idea. So let's stop. This is what I recommend. Let's stop going after the 100 calorie, low fat, shortcut options of modified food and stop and start eating real food. This is the way food was designed to be eaten. If you look back through the history, proliferation of diseases, when diseases first started popping up, is when we started eating all this modified food. So let's stop just counting calories and also count quality and start eating real food. Thanks.